let's analyze the situation of a block on an incline. We know that the weight acts directly downwards to the center of the Earth. Weight acts down mg. To break this into components, what they do is they orient the y-x axis so that it is parallel to the incline. The x-axis is parallel, and the y cuts it at 90 degrees. Now this is very important and we break mg into components as shown. Now that theta is the theta between mg and that component as you see. Now this component here, look very carefully, must be parallel to the x-axis that is in turn parallel to the incline. It is essential to get that right. And where those components meet is a right angle, 90 degrees. And you need to practice writing this so that you get it absolutely perfect. We have these two components, and this is how they are drawn. Now that side is the opposite of the uh, angle, and so it is mg sine theta. And this side is mg cos theta. Now mg sine theta tells us how much of the weight acts down the incline. mg acts directly down, but the incline dilutes the weight, allowing only a portion of it to act down the incline. And the portion that acts down the incline is mg sine theta. Mg cos theta is the magnitude of the normal force. Now it is acting directly into the incline at 90 degrees. That's how much of the weight is acting in. Therefore, the reaction force is Mg cos theta, which is the definition of the normal. So the friction is mu times the normal force, which would be mu times Mg cos theta. You need to pay close attention to that. So. Consider the case then where there's no friction. We have mg sine theta acting down the incline, and that's the only force acting in the direction of the motion. And so we say F net equals ma, and the net force, the only force, mg sine theta, is ma. Now hit pause and analyze that. Now we look at the case where there is friction. Once again, mg sine theta acts down the incline, but it's opposed by friction acting up the incline. And remember the friction is mu mg cos theta, mu times the normal force. Therefore the net force, the larger mg sine theta minus the opposing friction mu mg cos theta. And you'll notice that each term contains an m. Therefore, we can cancel each of these m's out. You will find examples where uh, they won't give you the mass. But that's all right. Write out the equation. Uh, the masses cancel.